In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with composition of transformations. In example A, it says reflect triangle ABC over the y-axis and then translate the image eight units down. So anytime you are doing both a reflection and a translation, that's called a glide reflection. So let's see what happens in this case. We'll first reflect over the y-axis. So we take each point and think about how far away is it from the y-axis and then count that many units on the other side of the y-axis to get the new point. And here's our resulting triangle after the reflection. Now we're asked to translate the image eight units down. So that means that each y-coordinate will go down by eight. So for example, this point right here, we want to go down two, four, six, eight. Keep in mind that the axes are scaled by twos. And then we'll do the same thing for the other two points, go down by eight. And here is our result. So when we think about the blue triangle directly to that second black triangle, that's called a glide reflection. In example B, it says write a single rule for triangle ABC to triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime from example A. So let's go back to example A. And we should label our points just so that we can see what was happening. We had ABC, so this would have been A prime, B prime, C prime, and then C double prime, B double prime, A double prime. So we need to write a single rule going from our original to our second image. So let's look at A to A double prime. A was at the point 2, 4. And A double prime is at the point negative 2, negative 4. Let's also look at B and B double prime. B was at 8, 8. And B double prime was at negative 8, 0. So one thing that's always happening is that the x coordinate turns negative in each case. The other thing that's happening is that the y coordinate is going down by 8. So the general rule is that our original point xy went to negative x and then y minus 8. And let's check if that works for C as well. C was at the point 10, 2. So according to our rule, C pr double prime should be at negative 10, negative 6. And let's check over on our graph. C double prime is at negative 10, negative 6. So that means we've done this correctly. So the rule going from A, B, C to A double prime, B double prime, C double prime is right here. It describes what happens to the x-coordinate and what happens to the y-coordinate. For example C, reflect triangle ABC over y equals 3 and y equals negative 5. All right, so first let's just label this triangle ABC. And next, let's draw in, we want y equals 3 and y equals negative 5. So we're going to do two reflections across parallel lines, which means the resulting transformation is going to be like a translation. So here's our triangle with our two lines, y equals 3 and y equals negative 5, drawn in. First, we're going to reflect triangle ABC across the line y equals 3. And here is our result. Now we're going to tr take triangle A prime, B prime, C prime and reflect it across the line y equals negative 5. And here is our result. Again, if we look to the original and imagine sliding it down and ignoring that green triangle and sliding it down, it would match up exactly with triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, which is why a reflection across parallel lines is the same thing as a translation. So we could have gotten to A double prime, B double prime, C double prime by just translating our original triangle 16 units down.